everyone, Alexandra here. So today I'm going to give you a complete review of GetResponse. In my opinion, there's no point in going into a detailed tutorial at this time because a lot of email marketing automation and just marketing automation tools in general do work more or less in the same way. So straight away, what I do like about GetResponse is that it's not just a tool you use for sending emails. So like with MailChimp, for instance, you can also create other things like, you know, landing pages, automated campaigns, forms, and so on. So for example, if you use GetResponse, you don't need to use another landing page builder or a survey builder. That's the number one important thing. You have multiple tools in one single place. Next, I just want to show you the new AI email generator feature they have. Literally, this helps you kind of write emails from scratch. So let's say your email is about you promoting a new course on nutrition with a discount of 20% for first students or something like that. My business is nutrition, fitness. The point is for get response to get an idea of your space. There's also more settings. Like, who is this email for? If you have a very specific audience, this is perfect. In my case, I'm just going to assume this is general, so I'm leaving it out because otherwise it's going to confuse the algorithm or the AI machine learning bot, whatever you want to call it. And for the what kind of email this is, let's say it's a promotional, like a sales email. Click on next. I want a convincing tone. I'm going to pick a layout, simple things like an image and some text, or you can just stick with text if you want to not seem so promotional. I'm going to choose a default palette and let's just assume this is the brand colors we have. And this is it. Now, I don't recommend using this text straight away. It's literally good because you can just like come in and edit things. And for example, you could just kind of edit this thing in here and keep the ending or whatever. So it's entirely up to you. But at this point, we also get like a preview of the editor. I won't get into a lot of details because this is simple to use. What's important to note is it works just like any kind of other drag and drop editor. You click on it, you edit the elements. You can also just go back to create a newsletter and start everything from scratch. At this point, it's simple. You give a title to your email so that it's very easy for you to find when um, you're just like looking through the emails or you want to see what performed better. And then you add your subject line in here, some recipients and all of these other details. You do have a scheduling option, which is super helpful. And from here, you design your message. You can start with a template, start from scratch. If you click on this template, for instance, and again, you just click on the elements you want to change. And if you want, this is a bit annoying. Like if you want to add a new element and you are already on an element, you do need to click on back to make sure you are under the layout editing options. So from here, you choose the elements you want to add and you drag them. And again, now if I just click on the side, nothing happens. I need to click to back to layout and then add, you know, buttons and things like that. It's the same thing with the message style options. You do have some preview options in here, which is like typical for most tools. They do have a spam check option in here, which is great because it's really going to analyze, you know, if you have a lot of images, if they're shady, what text you have, and it's going to point out some of the potential problems. Like in this case, we have a from address that's not a custom domain. So you're not really going to send an email from this in most cases. Now, when using GetResponse, I recommend you use this option at the top, tools to find everything. So you have here your communication features, the ones for building more visibility, automation stuff, integrations, and so on. As you can see, you can also see which features are up and coming because GetResponse went from being a tool just for email marketing to essentially a tool that any creator or seller or business can use for multiple things. So for example, they have the option to create courses in the future. You can also create a creator's profile. So this would be for content creators. But just quickly with the communication options, besides emails, you also have push notifications and chats. So push notifications is a feature that most 
email marketing and marketing automation tools offer. Not all of them though, so it's important to keep in mind. Uh, it, it's another thing I like about GetResponse that you can indeed do a lot of things with just one tool. And then you have the chat feature. I'm not using it, so I can't really show it in detail. But basically, it's like any other customer support tool. It's like Intercom. It's like you just can handle customer support with GetResponse alone. So any communication you have with your customers, with leads, with clients, potential partners, is actually going to happen in GetResponse because you communicate with them through emails, through you know simple support tickets and so on. With uh, Intercom, you also have the messages and triggers kind of feature. So what this does is it, let's imagine somebody wants to send you a message. The very first thing you can do is send them a welcome message and really automate that. You can also add in auto reply messages just to speed up things and so on. Plus you have like quick replies. Next we have the marketing features per se. So aka the ones for building visibility. What's important to note is that to some extent GetResponse is a website builder. Let's just say that. Yes, I would rather recommend it for building landing pages. But you know what? If you have a small business and you're just getting started and you don't want to get something like WordPress or whatever, I'm on WordPress, by the way, it's just more flexible. But I definitely have tried so many other website builder tools. And honestly, as long as they deliver to your needs, that's perfectly fine. Yes, you can create a website. And with their latest feature, you can also create landing pages. Again, let's just do something like for the nutrition field. I want a product like a landing page for a product like ebook with vegan recipes or whatever. And that's it. So on my landing page, I will want a video. Let's say I have a video and a contact form. So the gray things in here are deselected. And when you click on them, you select them, essentially. It's a bit counterintuitive. Mm, let's just get over this. And I might want to add a cookie banner. Everyone should have that. And I'm just skipping the rest. And now I have a couple of designs. I'm just literally going to choose the first one. Like with many other landing page builders, the templates that come by default are not always the best. So you will have to edit this so that it matches the rest of your website or you know whatever branding you have going on and the editor is the same a drag and drop editor with uh, this time a plus sign to add elements so you know if you want to come in here and add maybe maybe another video I, I definitely don't recommend two videos on a landing page but you know just for for the purpose of this video there's like so many things you can try it's important to note that this editor is a bit different. So for example, if I pull in text this time, I'm actually going to get a couple of ideas like this. I think it works like this because of the AI features, but I'm not sure. Anyway, so you can just like choose the style you want straight away. So you don't have to click on the text element and edit it all by yourself. You know, it can be annoying to just like go every time and select the alignment you want. The line height is a big one for me and just like all of those details. So with this, you have them straight away here. Also worth noting is that all of these landing pages can be connected to your store. I haven't done this before, so I'm not going to get into the details, but it's worth noting. Now, this is the main landing page, but right here you can see this is the home. So if people, let's say, give their name and their email, once they click on sign up, they're going to be redirected to the thank you page. So you want to edit this as well. And maybe you can use this to give them a freebie as well. So you can go to add element and maybe add something like the product box or a custom code so you can embed a PDF file or whatever. And you also have the not found page. By the way, this is super handy and I like how GetResponse thinks of every single scenario because in most cases, especially smaller websites, they just don't think of this when it's like super easy to put together. Because in this case, for example, instead of the go to homepage button, you could redirect people to maybe another product or some content of yours just to keep them on your website.
You know, next we have forms and pop-ups. This is similar to what we already did with the emails and the landing page. Templates for everything. Literally, there's the template for everything. With some of these, I do think the designs are a bit better. For example, in this case, these right here, the timers are always so difficult to put together. So you need to be careful when selecting, you know, how many days you have left and so on, because it needs to align with the time zone that you want to target. And in the US, that's even more difficult because, you know, the times are just like all over the place. Important to note is that you also have paid ads, so you can create ads within GetResponse. I unfortunately don't have this feature, so I can't show it to you, and I haven't tested it before, but I'm going to assume it works in a similar way to, you know, the other editors and so on. Worth noting is that they do have lead forms, so you can, like, capture their contact information straight away on the ad. Then you have automation. So this is, you know, your typical email marketing automation. The only thing to keep in mind is that it's very handy to have all of these just like ready made. So if you don't know anything about marketing automation, you can literally just use a couple of these. So a win back is having maybe subscribers who don't engage with your content a lot or those who engaged at some point, but not anymore. You want to send them something like this. List cleaning is also perfect if you want to remove contacts that don't engage with you. It's also called list pruning, by the way. Then there's like retargeting templates and so on. So this editor is going to be a bit different because it's literally this. But, you know, from what I've tested this in the past, it's, it's actually super easy to put together. And then you have all of your conditions and tags and other action elements and filters right here as well. I do recommend being as detailed as possible with these though. Likewise, you can set autoresponders. You also have a conversion funnel feature, which I haven't used extensively. I assume it's going to help you with the ebook example I outlined for you. I mean, literally what it does is it helps you kind of get an idea, even if you don't have any marketing experience, get an idea of what you need to do. So for example, for this ebook, what you need to do is one, create more signups, have your download page, have an email to connect with these people. And it's really going to show you like what stage you're at every step of the way. It's worth noting that GetResponse does integrate with quite a lot of tools, so you won't have issues with connecting it to your store, for instance, or connecting it to a social media platform or getting paid if you do have a payment processor of, of choice. Then you do also have the e-commerce tools. Again, I haven't used it to set up a store, but remember that it's very important because it does give you some extra features such as being able to set promo codes, sending custom product recommendations, that is very handy. Just taking a look at your abandoned cart emails, doing segmentation, just getting e-commerce stats and so on. You also have some more detailed uh, features such as the web hooks and web connect options. And you have the up and coming features out of which webinars is a big one because you can literally create a webinar within GetResponse. So all in all, I do enjoy the tool because I always have clients ask me, you know, what should I use for my email marketing automation tool? So I'm like, just opt for a solution that's, you know, decently priced and can help you do a lot of things. With the email marketing option, it's it's fairly cheap. It does get a bit more expensive if you want the entire marketing automation suite of features. And then if you want to use it for e-commerce, it's definitely more expensive. But the pricing, especially if you can find an offer like this, by the way, right now, a lot of tools in the SaaS space do run custom offers. So it, it's a good time to you know make a purchase. Uh, whether it's email marketing, um, tools for content creators, whatever. But then it's also important to note they do have a free trial, so you can just test out things. And uh, remember, these prices are based on your list size. So if you have, you know, more people on your list, it's obviously going to be more expensive. So this is the catch. With a tool like MailChimp, for instance, at least when I started using it, I think I have 
2,000 free contacts, but it's like super basic. Like I can only literally send them the newsletters. With this tool though, you do pay for those first 1,000 and 2,000 people. So that's the catch to it as opposed to some other solutions. However, most marketing automation tools out there are very expensive. So this kind of, it's not the cheapest solution possible just because it does do it all but it's also not super expensive. If you're interested in that response, you can find a link in the description below. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, just write me a comment below and I will get back to you soon. Have a nice rest of the day.